Ryan Moore. Crucial goals late in the promotion season have come from West Ham's Ian Dowie, signed from Luton Town in March. He scored in all three home games he's played in and takes his place tonight looking for four out of four in this West Ham side. Already promoted and now chasing the second division championship. The defence strengthened by the return of Colin Foster who's passed fit after a hamstring injury. A club that'll take pleasure in introducing the likes of Czech goalkeeper Ludek Miklosko, playmaker Ian Bishop and the skills of Stuart Slater to the first division next season. Bristol Rovers, mid-table, and that in itself is a tribute to their first season back in the second division. Steve Yates returns to the defence after injury. Goalkeeper Brian Parkin comes back after suspension. And watch out for the attacking power and skills of Devon White and Carl Saunders up front. All of it managed shrewdly by Jerry Francis. Today is said to be a front-runner for the vacant Chelsea job. And Jerry told me tonight, my contract is up this summer. I should be talking to my directors about my future, and they'll have to be the first to hear about any decision that I make. Our referee tonight is Terry Holbrook from Wolverhampton. Mr. Rovers in a change strip of yellow shirts, blue shorts, get the game underway, attacking the goal to our right. West Ham keyed up for this final push to the second division championship. To be sure, they need to win here tonight and here again on Saturday against Notts County. And it's a great chance here for West Ham. Some excellent save there by Parkin from Martin Allen. Nice fluent movement, though, by West Ham on the edge of that Bristol Rovers penalty area. Morley involved, the pass by Allen turn there and a little pass again by Slater and Allen couldn't quite get on the end of it. Gary chasing but I think Twentyman's ball will be well. Gary's chase at least earned a corner for West Ham. And they haven't picked up Ian Bishop. Harris playing it in there. Not the way well by uh, Twentyman I think it was. As far as Paris, played it again now for Morley. And Yates getting it away for the school Rovers. Breaker. Allen, a lot of space on this side for Bishop. First time beginning to turn over the start here now. Bishop now for Hewton. Crossed in there, pulled away by Parkin, the goalkeeper. They're not out of the trouble yet. Mr. Rovers and Slater might well keep this going for West Ham. Tries to get a little one-two going. Allen now. Day with a shot charge down. And eventually Bristol Rovers get it away. Thankfully in the touch on the far side. But a good spell of pressure there by West Ham, drawing applause from the crowd here at Upton Park. Harris playing it forward towards Morley. Bishop available. Here's Bishop. Oh, not in the way. Well, you've got a perfect view of that one. You could almost read Bishop's mind. He got that away onto the right foot. Tried the little curler. And I think it was 20 minutes, got it off the line. A free kick to Bristol Rovers shoving I don't think the referee quite saw that but a super moment with Ian Bishop as I say you could almost read his mind when he uh, dragged it onto the right foot there you can see right I'll try a curler and it was absolutely perfect until Twentyman got up and got it away left-hand side Bishop uh, it wasn't the best pass it wasn't the best pass by a long way but they still got possession Bishop that's a better one for Morley Bishop again Harris a lot of space for breaker on the far side and the cross comes in the header by Dowie really should have done a lot better than that 
shake of his head because he knows that that was virtually a free header and an inch perfect cross coming in from Tim Breaker. There's the free header and Dowie unhappy with that particular performance. side against Andy Reese. He was one of uh, Jerry Francis's first signings as manager of Bristol Rovers. <laughs> Steve Fox with the free kick for West Ham. Up towards Morley. Yeah. Morley has made a good run actually there. Slater's going through. Yard gets a shooting possibility straight at the keeper, though. And a nice bit of play there by young Stuart Slater. Showed why he is so effective when he takes on defenders, and he's got that bit of pace and an eye for goal, too. Half time result West Ham leading by a goal to nil. Scorer Stuart Slater with 37 minutes gone. And also, skipper Ian Bishop having one shot, a curler, headed off the line. And really, he's been showing the splendid skills through that midfield that have been making West Ham move so effectively. Half-time then at Upton Park. It's West Ham United 1, Bristol Rovers 0. Get the second half in motion. Bristol Rovers with a substitute on now. Ian Hazel in place of... Adrian Boothroyd. There he is, number 14, former Wimbledon player, Ian Hazel. Massive kick. And each of these kicks are putting him in trouble. There's Roy. It seems an obvious Group 1 ploy there by big uh, Ludek Nikosko, but every time he unleashes one of those long clearances, it's causing all sorts of panic in the Bristol Rovers defence. And this time, Morley and Slater getting in there, and Morley eventually just lobbing it over the keeper, but also over the crossbar. Shot 
anybody's going to score a second goal in this game, you feel it'll uh, have to be West Ham and doing some good work there, but the shot was always climbing over that crossbar. Harris again with a header. Morley playing it wide. Slater looking to take on Alexander this time. Harris again making a good run. Alexander getting it away, rather Holloway getting it away that time. Breaker picking it up. Bishop. It's almost one way traffic now as Slater takes them on again. Again, the cross and the finishing touch not nearly accurate enough. second half. And away goes Devon White. He's got Ian Hazel up with him. And he's found Hazel. And the shot charged off. Houghton and rattles over the top from Paul Saunders. Well, there's a warning for West Ham. Pushing forwards and suddenly getting caught. And that could have been very expensive indeed. White finding Holloway, the shot charged down by Hewton, falling there for Carl Saunders. Okay. dangerous position here. There goes the final whistle. West Ham go back to the top of the uh, second division. One point. Or rather, one goal equaling three points. And now a victory here against Knox County on Saturday will make absolutely sure of them taking the second division championship. The only goal of the game, Stuart Slater, 37 minutes. And really, overall, it has to be said, an unconvincing performance by West Ham and a real dogged uh, performance by middle table Bristol Rovers. Final score.